Good morning, magandang umaga po. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, something I experienced with another viewer uh, regarding uh, her going back to the Philippines. Uh, I'd like to discuss this with you and uh, there's a couple of moral lessons in this story. So hang loose, stay with me. Someone uh, responded to me or gave me a comment that he's a little bit sort of upset and uh, was asking me how come there are so many questions or, or some questions being asked and you don't have the answer. Uh, just like another vlogger and of course he mentioned the name of the vlogger and I will not mention it here. Uh, how come she's not able to answer my questions too like just like you? Well. First of all, nobody has all the answers to all the questions that everybody's got. If I answer all the questions, I could be lying. Or would you prefer for me to say, sorry, I don't know. Okay, at least when I know something, I tell you so. If I don't know, then I don't know. I'll tell you what, even if you talk to someone in the Philippine government, they also don't know certain things. So don't expect me or any other vlogger to know all the answers. That is just common sense. Now, here is uh, one situation. and I'll show you the, uh, the, uh, the uh, message that she sent me in the comment section down below. It says, Hello again, Po. Ask your question about if I could go home on the video you posted yesterday. I'm the one who is a dual citizen, but it is just a derivative dual citizenship. So it's not a recognition certificate as stated in your video. Now, derivative citizenship, that is when you acquire citizenship through your parents. For example, they applied for uh, citizenship in the Philippines or dual citizenship in the Philippines and they included your name when you were a child when you were still a minor so you also became a Philippine citizen a uh, Philippine citizen and that is called derivative citizenship let's continue on just wanted to update you because I contacted the Philippine consulate here in LA and was told that I will still not be allowed to fly back to the Philippines because I only have derivative dual citizenship from my parents. I don't understand why I still will not be allowed to fly back because I'm a Filipino citizen. This is what I said. I do not understand that as well. Call another Philippine consulate office just to double check. Also, get yourself a Philippine passport. Please let me know what happens. I'm interested because you are a citizen no matter how you acquired it. That's what I said. The key thing here is call another source of information, call another office. We have about what, 10, 12 offices in the whole United States from Washington to, uh, from Washington DC to LA and anywhere in between, okay? So call and get verify the information. I was able to contact another Philippine consulate office. This is uh, several days or maybe weeks since she sent me the first uh, comment. I was able to contact another Philippine consulate office and they told me that I should be allowed to fly home with my derivative dual citizenship because like you said, I'm a Filipino citizen. I don't who else to contact to confirm which is true. Yes, I have already filed a report of birth and once it's okay, I will, I will then apply for a Philippine passport to avoid any more complications in the future. We'll let you know what happens. Thank you. So I said, that's fantastic. Okay, do let me know. Hello again, Po. Just arrived in the Philippines this morning. Hmm. Finally, after the travel ban was lifted, I had no problem getting through the immigration in the Philippines. I just showed my derivative dual citizenship along with my father's identification certificate and retention and reacquisition of Philippine citizenship papers, her father's. However, I had a little bit of problem at PAL's check-in counter at LAX. They were asking for proof that my parents were born in the Philippines. 
So I had my sister, who luckily was at home, send me a picture of my birth certificate that stated my parents were born in the Philippines. Anyways, glad to have finally made it here. It's been three weeks since my original flight. Just wanted to update you. Now here's the moral lesson, and this is why I, wa I wanted to make this video. Do not just accept no for an answer. Be tenacious and assertive. Look for other source of information. When you receive information that says, oh, you cannot do this or you can do that, but you have some doubt in your head, why? You, it doesn't make sense. Well, <laughs> when you suspect some, there's something wrong, probably there's something wrong. Go to another source. Inquire. Ask. Okay? Don't just, just like following up on paperwork. Uh, some people will, will ask me, uh, gee, you know, I sent my papers on this date, on that date, and they have not responded to me yet. What do I do? Don't ask me. Ask them. If you file the paper with them, send them an email. Send them another email after two or three days. Then send them a third email until they respond. Now, somebody also asked me a question. How come you are uh, listening to or inquiring from the, uh, view, uh, from the uh, embassy in the Netherlands? Well, you know why? Because when I want to learn something, I send an email to as many as three, four, or even five consular offices. Why is that? They're not responsive. Okay? So, I hope one of these emails I will send to will answer me back. And in that case, Netherlands ha happened to answer me back. I'm also getting a frequent response from Manila Department of Foreign Affairs for Bureau of Immigration. So, so from this point on, I've been sending inquiries from them. And of course, I share the result with you. Uh, but that's how I do this thing, okay? Uh, I may not know everything, but probably, okay, I'm just guessing, I know more than most people, because most people, if they're dual, they will just be interested in dual. I try to attack SRRV and 13A visa, but not the others, because they're infrequent. Somebody asked me the question, gee, you know, I, I had a criminal record. Will I have any issue applying for dual citizenship? I have no idea. And I'll tell you what, even if you inquire at the Philippine consulate, they may not know either because these are unusual situations. How many people have criminal record to begin with? Okay, so this may be one of those instances where they give a lot of discretion for the consul of the Philippines to approve or disapprove. So one day they may approve, another day they may disapprove for whatever reason. So. I will not have the answer to that. Inquire from them. It's okay, by the way. It's okay if you ask me. Okay, just just do not be upset if I say I don't know because I don't. Okay, I don't know everything. Uh, the other thing is get a Philippine passport while you have all documents available. This way you eliminate the problem dealing with immigration and or airlines. When you have a passport, that is your passport to gain entry to the country. No questions asked. You're a Philippine citizen. You're qualified to enter unless there is a specific restriction on any, uh, anyone with or without passport who is coming from overseas. I blame the Philippines. I blame the Philippine government for saying you do not need a passport. All you need to do is to present this dual citizenship ID or uh, what do you call that uh, recognition ID and blah, blah, blah. Get a passport. Now, I cannot blame other people who cannot get a passport because it's not convenient. You don't want to fly to Washington DC or San Francisco to just get a passport. But the first opportunity you have to get a passport, like when you're in the Philippines where it's more convenient to get a passport and quicker to get a passport, get a passport. Okay? See, in my case, it's okay because I can drive to New York. It takes me two hours to get there. Uh, but when I moved to uh, to Connecticut or Seattle, they do not have consular offices there. I have to fly or drive a long way to LA or San Francisco to get something done. Okay, so in that case, when I have about a year left on my passport and I'm in the Philippines, I'll go ahead and renew it. I'll go ahead and renew it. I don't want to come back to the U.S. And then later, when I really, really need to do it, I cannot do it because I have to travel. 
So just do a little bit of planning, okay? Uh, so so this, this is what I'm suggesting in this video. Do not ex take no for an answer and get a passport as soon as you can. All right. So I hope you benefited uh, something from this uh, video and please do share it with other people who could be affected by this and make it a great day. God bless.